Hi, it's Chase from DrPreMed.com. I want to talk to you something that's probably going to shock you and blow your mind as it concerns the MCAT. Did you know that it's actually a disadvantage if you get a perfect score on the MCAT? So you want to get above the average score on the MCAT. So you want to be above 508 or better. So 510, 512 anything like that's going to get you into medical school. But if you try to aim for a perfect MCAT score, it's actually probably going to hinder your chances of getting into medical school. Do you know why that's the case? You probably, this is probably going to blow your mind, but I'm going to tell you why. What happens is if you have a perfect MCAT score or it's just too far above the average of everybody else applying, AdComs are going to think that you're weird, that all you do is study, that you don't have a life, and that you're like a robot or a machine, and you have nothing else going on for you. And you'll find out that's actually the case that happens with a lot of people that have perfect scores or some type of deficiency going on, and they're just not a well-rounded person. Now, I'm not knocking you if you do get a perfect score in the MCAT and you're a well-rounded person, but most of the case, that's not what's going on. So if you thought that you absolutely needed to top MCAT score, you don't. You just need to be above the average because compute because adcoms use computers to see who they're going to accept. And so they just put in the minimum threshold score that anybody above this score is going to get a good look. So whether you're 10 points above the minimum threshold score that the school has or five points or even two points, it's going to be all the same to them. So you just want to be competitive when applying to medical school, especially when it comes to your MCAT score, you don't need a perfect score. That can actually hurt your chances of getting into medical school. I know that seems crazy, something that you never heard before, but it's actually true. And that's one of the reasons why for medical school, you actually have to do an in-person interview because you're going to be working with patients and we want to see who you are as a person. Are you likable? Do you get along with people? And all that good stuff that's going to make you a good future doctor. And again, this is Jason with DrPreMed.com signing off. If you want to learn more about the MCAT, what you can do to improve your scores. I have my MCAT Mastery companion course that's available, so click below for the link for that. Look forward to you studying wise and getting the scores that you need to get into medical school become a doctor. Again, Jason with DrPreMed.com. Take care.